All right, good morning, y'all. Welcome back to Panama City. I'm Bob. This morning, it's Saturday, August 26th, and um, we were just headed offshore, and that's the pass right there behind me. Um, but we got out of the pass, and the waves were running about four feet. Um, got a west wind that's not real hard. It's probably five to ten. But um, the gulf is churned up pretty good, and it's rougher than what I want to have to go out there and sit and, and fish. So we're going to stay inshore. Um, my wife has said she wants to come out here in a little while, which for her probably means around lunchtime. And um, so we're going to stay inshore. I'm pulling up on the sailboat wreck over here in St. Andrews. Obviously, that's the state park behind me. So kind of know where I'm at and from here I'll probably run up to the Hathaway and um, fish up there for a little bit before headed back over to St. Andrews Bay and East Bay but um, we're gonna pull up here and get set up and we're just gonna go fishing um, see what we can catch red snapper season for the fall opens next Friday um, we have a four-day weekend I do. It's a three-day weekend for everybody else. I don't work on Fridays usually. But uh, so next weekend, it'll be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We can keep Red Snapper. I do have somebody going with me on Friday. So um, we'll see what the weather brings and see if we can catch some Red Snapper. Right now, I think that the tide is going out. doesn't seem to be moving hard, but think it's going out. So we'll get pulled up over here and I'll, I'll show you what the wreck looks like. So as I'm pulling up on the wreck, this is where, where the wreck starts. And that's fish, that's bait, there's some fish up there, there's a fish in the background, but that's what the wreck looks like. And it's 27 feet of water, so I mean, it's not like it's real deep water. But um, I usually fish it in the um, um, the fall and the winter when we can catch grouper and keep grouper and stuff like that. But um, they've changed our grouper season now, so it runs from I think September to the middle of November. So we don't have near as, as much of a season as we normally do. I got bait fish popping all around me. I like that. I'm going to let the trolling motor get us sorted out. Let the trolling motor get us sorted out and see which way the boat's going to sit. May have to move a little bit. But um, we're going to fish. Got me right back in the red. He's still there. Got him out now. Yeah. Nice little grouper. grouper. They'll come back in season next Friday as well. Oh, he straightened my hook out. So. I'll have to change that hook. What I'm using is cigar minnows, frozen cigar minnows. Cut the head and tail off. I'm using bigger pieces, I'll double hook it, and that kind of hides the hook in it. This one I've only got a split shot on, I don't have much weight. It's probably a number three or so, it's an eighth ounce or something. But, you know, in 
27, 28 feet of water. It'll take it to the bottom and just take a little longer. Supposedly they're good to eat. I've never eaten one. I don't know. Alright, we came to the Hathaway Bridge. And uh, there's quite a few people up here fishing. I imagine that the redfish are probably running. We're going to get up here and find a piece of structure that looks good and set up on it and see if we can catch some fish. Now I just caught and released a really nice redfish. Um, I don't think I got it on camera. I think my battery died. But um, I'll have the picture posted on uh, my Facebook, Epic Nearshore PC, where you can check it out. Or see if another one will bite. thing about you here right now is catfish and that one nice redfish that I don't think got it in, I got on camera. We're going to run back to St. Andrews Bay and see if we can find something else in the bike. came to the pipeline. Um, I was going to stop in St. Andrews, but the waves it um, were pretty bad coming around the corner. So um, came on up here to the pipeline so we can see if we can catch some fish up here. Um, we're just going to look around and see if we can find anything that looks like it's got some bait and structure or fishing structure. And um, we'll get set up and fish. I think I'm going to have to face this way. I think the tide is going out, but who knows, because the wind's blowing this way, so we'll probably end up turning sideways. I know at the Hathaway, the current was very, very little. I mean, it, I literally dropped straight down and I was fishing straight down. So. so we'll see what we can find up here and see if we can catch some fish. The outlook for today um, was poor, and I think it's, I, I don't know, maybe west wind, I don't know. I seem to be the catfish king today.
Snapper. He'd most likely be a keeper. Now the boat's turned completely around. That's a little white trout. He's small enough that I'll keep him for bait. These little white trout will get on these deep structure spots. I mean, we're in 35 feet of water, so they'll get on these deeper structure spots. You can eat them. Um, there's no size limit, and uh, you can keep 100 pounds of them. That one's a little small to eat. I'm not sure it even fill a hot dog bun, but they make good bait, too, for grouper. I can catch catfish anywhere. I am the catfish king. He swallowed my hook. Alright, I'm going to go pick up my wife. And then we'll see you when we get to the back to the pipeline. Hang on. Alright, I got Michelle. And we're back out here at the pipeline. And I'm going to get pulled up on the spot that we want to fish get us locked down, and then Michelle's going to jump in the water, swim with the sharks, if she thinks it's fun. 
which time she's got a float she's going to float on. But, um, we'll get pulled up out here. Keep looking to see if we can find some fish to catch that aren't catfish. Reaper, red snapper, and what I suspect this is, what? Red snapper. No red snapper. Um, catfish. Oh, and I've caught some white trout and stuff like that. They call them rubies because the inside of their mouth is bright red. Its proper name is Tom Tate Grunt. Little bitty red snapper. A little red snapper. And I don't mind catching these little red snapper. Because it just shows that um, we've got a good population that's healthy in the bay. This is what grows on the bottom. And I've showed it to you before. All right, well, I'm going to call it a day. It's been a uh, really nice day. Um, tried to go offshore first thing, and um, the waves were just, they were just too bad. Uh, you know, I could have gone out there and fished, but it wouldn't have been comfortable for me. And um, since I'm not trying to catch anything to keep, then, you know, no sense going out there and just bouncing all over the place. So we stayed in shore, um, fished the sailboat out out by um, St. Andrews State Park, um, caught fish there, went to the Hathaway Bridge, caught fish there, came to the pipeline, caught fish, went up to the um, Tyndall Bridge, caught fish there, came back to the pipeline, still caught fish. Um, it hasn't been um, on fire. Um, you know, I caught one red snapper that was probably a keeper, but they're out of season until next week. Uh, next week I do have somebody coming Friday and possibly Saturday, Sunday, and Monday as well. Uh, but I'll be fishing those days either way. So I hope you liked the video. Um, I hope you learned something. Um, that's what this is all about. Um, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell if you want to get notified when I release new videos. We'll see you next time.